Generally speaking, the dromaeosaurs, otherwise known as the raptors, were small animals which measured on average across the dromaeosauridae family, around 2 meters in length. Such animals included some of the most famous dinosaurs ever to evolve, including Velociraptor and Deinonychus. As a result, we tend to imagine them as very small, agile animals, ones that perhaps hunted in packs, essentially an analog to modern-day wolves. They weren't quite as large as some of the bigger theropods of the Cretaceous, such as the Tyrannosaurs, Spinosaurs, or Abelosaurs, but they were effective predators regardless, evolved to fill an ecological niche as small to medium-sized carnivores in their environments. This might be the general trend for dromaeosaurs, but as is sometimes the case with prehistoric animals, there are big, big exceptions. One dromaeosaur, Utah Raptor, stood taller than the rest, to the point where it could quite comfortably fit an animal the size of Velociraptor in its mouth, while other genera such as Dakota Raptor steadily approach this giant in size. Utah Raptor is firmly unchallenged as the largest known dromaeosaurid discovered to date, and today we will be meeting it up close. This video will concern the discovery, life, and habitat of the largest of the feathered, sickle-clawed predators known as dromaeosaurs. Sit back and relax as we travel back in time to meet Utah Raptor, the Utah Predator. As we briefly mentioned, Utah Raptor was the largest and most heavily built dromaeosaur, an evolutionary product of a family that first appeared 168 million years ago. Unsurprisingly, Utah Raptor itself lived in the early Cretaceous period of Utah, in the Cedar Mountain Formation. It thrived here from 139 to 134 million years ago in the Buriasian and Valanginian stages of the Cretaceous. Utah Raptor as a genus consists of a single species, Utah Raptor ostromazi, which was named and described in 1993. As the largest dromaeosaurid, Utah Raptor is thought to have measured as long as 7 meters in extreme cases but the majority of paleontologists estimated to have grown anywhere between 5 and 6 on average. Whereas its cousin Velociraptor is thought to have weighed as little as 15 kilograms, Utah Raptor's sheer size could put it anywhere between 250 to 350 kilograms. Despite the size, there is every reason to believe that Utah Raptor, like all known dromaeosaurs, was covered in feathers. Dromaeosaurs that are older and younger than Utah Raptor are known to have possessed a full coat of feathers, which scientists are doubtful would have evolved more than once across the course of prehistory in the same group of animals. Dakota Raptor, a slightly smaller species, is known to have had the same kind of feathers as other dromaeosaurs, so there is no reason to believe Utah Raptor lacked them. Like all dromaeosaurs, Utah Raptor was a carnivore and had the adaptations to match. It was a biped, much more stocky and heavily built than its smaller cousins with longer claws on its hands and much longer nasal openings in the skull that set it aside from its relatives. Its long tail was held out behind it as it walked, and is often depicted with a feather fan at its tip. Its legs were muscular, and it possessed the trademark sickle-shaped claw on the second digit on each foot. While some pigments have been discovered in the feathers of early Cretaceous dromaeosaurs, Utah Raptor is unfortunately not among them, and we are still unsure of any patterns and colors its feathers may have had. Utah Raptor was first brought to the attention of human beings in 1975, when U.S. paleontologist Jim A. Jensen recovered the first fragmentary remains from the Dalton Wells Quarry in Utah. 
Utahraptor would be one of the first dinosaurs associated with Jensen, who would eventually go on to name and describe his first dinosaurs, Iguanodon otteringi, Hypsilophodon wielandi, and Torvosaurus tanneri, in what would become a hugely prolific year for him in 1979. Other dinosaurs that would eventually be named by Jensen include species that would eventually become known as Camarasaurus, Supersaurus, and the dubious genus Paleopteryx. The Utah raptor specimens that Jensen initially discovered did not get much attention, but they would go down in history as the first material recovered from this huge dromaeosaur. Later in 1991, Carl Lamone would discover a claw attributed to Utah Raptor within segments of the Cedar Mountain Formation. Later the same year, Donald Burge and Robert Gaston would reveal their finds of a tibia, premaxilla, and elements of the hind claws, painting a better picture of what this animal would have looked like in life. Enough fossil elements were unearthed by 1993 to reliably name and describe the animal, Utah Raptor ostromazi, or Ostrom and Maze Utah Predator in English. The specific name refers to two people, the first being John Ostrom, the paleontologist who would be the first to liken the dromaeosaurs to lithe, agile predators instead of sluggish, lizard-like creatures. The name also refers to Chris Mays, who assisted in the research of Utah Raptor with his organization Dynamation, making animatronic dinosaur models. The first thing you'll notice about Utah Raptor is without a doubt its size compared to its relatives. While animals such as Velociraptor or Atrociraptor were quick and agile, feeding on small prey items, Utah Raptor objectively was not. As a result of its size, Utah Raptor could not hunt in the same way as its diminutive cousins, and is instead suggested to have been capable of reaching the speeds of a large ornithopod. As such, it is believed to have been an ambush predator and not a pursuit predator like some of its cousins. As well as opportunistically feeding on small vertebrates, Utah Raptor would have brought down big game. Its speed was matched to hunt many other dinosaurs in its environment, with ornithischians and theropods alike on the menu. Studies on the leg bones of Utah Raptor have suggested that it relied heavily upon the strength of its kicks and the slashes of its hind limbs to kill its prey. Smaller dromaeosaurs with thinner limbs relied upon the use of their feathered forelimbs to keep their balance while bringing down prey. But it is thought that Utah Raptor would not have had this issue. As such, all four limbs would have been free as powerful tools to slash at, kick, and hold down its victim. There has long been debate surrounding whether or not Utah Raptor and its relatives were capable of hunting in packs, or if they acted in a solitary manner when bringing down their prey. Utah Raptor remains from multiple different individuals have been found alongside one another, including one example from eastern Utah where an adult was discovered with four adolescents and a baby fossilized alongside the remains of an iguanodont that the supposed pack were theorized to be hunting. Jim Kirkland, who named and described Utah Raptor, proposed that this pack of Utah Raptors were not hunting the iguanodont, but rather had scavenged from its corpse which had perhaps been stuck in a bog. Unfortunately, the carnivores themselves soon became stuck in the same swampy ground and unable to free themselves were eventually fossilized alongside their last meal. This was contested in 2020, when paleontologists contrasted the lifestyles and packing behaviors of modern carnivores with their dietary preferences, comparing them to dromaeosaurs, which are thought to have hunted in packs. Their research concluded that some dromaeosaurs likely did not live in family groups, but it was not decided as to whether or not this extended to larger dromaeosaurs such as Utah Raptor and Dakota Raptor. 
Utah Raptor was likely coated in a covering of feathers which may have served a number of purposes. An animal the size of Utah Raptor would not necessarily have relied upon the feathery coat as an insulator, and as such they may have aided the animal in camouflage, perhaps being a dull brown or gray color to help it blend into the shadows of the foliage it would have hidden in, lying in wait to ambush its prey. Alternatively, Utah Raptor may have used its feathers for display purposes. Some reconstructions of the animal show it with subtle patterns on its arm feathers and tail fan, which may in life have been used to signal to members of its supposed pack or to attract a mate. Utah Raptor lived in what is now the U.S. state of Utah situated inland towards the western stretches of the country. As it is today, Utah would have been located inland during the early Cretaceous period in which Utah Raptor lived, and as such the rocks of the Cedar Mountain formation indicate an environment that was dominated by rivers and lakes, rather than oceans and coast. Conifer forests dominated the landscape and would have housed a large number of dinosaur species, in one of the most prolific paleo-environments known to man at this time. There is also ash present in the sediment here, which suggests volcanic activity at the time Utah Raptor was roaming the Earth. Specifically, Utah Raptor is associated with the yellow cat member of the Cedar Mountain Formation, the rocks of which also indicate a large presence of ferns, hornworts, and semi-arid areas that separated segments of forest. We do know of multiple genera of dinosaur that are confirmed to have lived alongside Utah Raptor, and the Cedar Mountain Formation is particularly rich in dinosaur remains. The largest animals alive here at the time of Utah Raptor were the sauropods Cedarosaurus and Moabosaurus, the latter measuring 10 meters in length and the former a colossal 15 from nose to tail. Cedarosaurus was a brachiosaurid, a surviving genus from the family's glory days in the Jurassic. Ornithischians would have been the main target of Utah Raptor, most specifically two species of iguanodont that have been discovered alongside the dromaeosaur, Hippodraco and Cedrorestes. The remains of these dinosaurs are incomplete, but given their sizes and roles within the ecosystem, it is sensible to predict that these animals were likely the main prey of Utah Raptor. Harder to tackle would have been the Ankylosaur Gastonia, one of the most famous animals of the yellow cat member of this formation. This was a nodosaurid, armored with sharp spikes along its torso and back, as opposed to the defensive plates of the Ankylosaurids. A hungry Utah raptor would have needed to exercise extreme caution when attempting to tackle such an animal. One wrong move alongside this 5 meter long tank, and the carnivore could have found itself seriously wounded. As for the theropods, Utah raptor would likely have been the apex predator amidst its relatives in the region at this time. Two genera that are known to have lived alongside Utah Raptor were the Therizinosaur Martha Raptor and the Ornithomimosaur Ned Colbertia, the former of which was a herbivore and the latter was only a meter and a half in length. Outside of the dinosaurian life within the upper yellow cat member, the lakes and rivers of ancient Utah harbored a vibrant host of life. Cephaliodon was the sole mammal relative known from this area, but its exact placement within mammal ancestry is uncertain. Under the surface of the lakes lived a legion of fish species, such as the lungfish Ceratodus and the ray-finned Semionotus. Freshwater hybodontid sharks are known from this region too, members of an extremely diverse group of fish that thrived across the lakes and oceans of the Mesozoic. Small turtles would have basked on the logs and rocks projecting from the water, while water birds known only from footprints waded and dived around them, disturbed occasionally by lizard-like rhynchocephalians. 
it was a world bursting with life of all kinds. And this is only a quick glimpse into the possible biodiversity of this ancient world. The amount of information on Utah Raptor available to us today is not quite as widespread as, say, Velociraptor or Deinonychus. But what we do know is constantly expanding. As a dromaeosaur that lived a vastly different lifestyle to its relatives, we can only imagine what it must have been like to see one in the flesh. But as we uncover more information on the animal, this can be done more clearly. One thing was clear, Utah Raptor was by far the largest and most powerful of the known dromaeosaurs, and has kept that title for a long time.